Ladies and gentlemen, DaVinci Resolve Beta version 23, I believe, 20-3. Uh, I'm going to show you the fastest, easiest way to do speed ramps and smooth out the curves at the same time. It is really, really easy. Uh, it takes about 15 or 20 seconds. I'm going to go through it kind of on my own, and then I'm going to explain it. So I'm hitting Control-R. I'm going to hit Shift-R. I'm going to hit control left bracket key to add my first keyframe. I'm going to go to the ocean, control left bracket key to add my other keyframe. I'm going to grab this speed point. I'm going to speed up the clip over here. I'm going to click and drag and select my speed points. I've curved it off. That's it. How long did that take? 15 seconds. Here's the speed ramp. Smoothed off curved speed ramp. If you want to do it fast, this is the fastest way. That was, I think, six clicks total to do something relatively uh, complicated and something that used to take a lot longer. So let me go ahead and kind of hit undo a bunch of times, undo all of that. And I'm even going to close up my panel, Shift R, Control R. So let me walk you through it in more slow motion. I'm assuming you've done speed ramping before and you're getting used to the new system. This is the fastest workflow. I've tried them all. This is the way to go. Other ways are kind of wonky. You may have to change the way you've been doing it, but I promise you, you're going to find this just mindlessly easy. Okay, so here we go. I've got my clip. We're going to retime it. Control R opens up our retime controls. You can see they just opened up there. And I'm also going to use this keyframe panel, the new panel, and I'm going to hit Shift R to open that up. You can see this blue line here. This is where my curves are going to be eventually. If you don't see that blue line, you're probably looking at this uh, screen. There are two little buttons up here. Just click on the left one. That's going to show you the curves. Now, something we didn't have before we have now, you can use this keyboard shortcut to add speed points. That saves a lot of time. So I've got this clip here. I'm going to start off about here. So I'm going to hit Control, left bracket key, and you can see a speed point come up. I'm going to go forward to where I can see the ocean. Control, left bracket key. I now have my two speed points. Now I'm going to grab one of those speed points and drag it toward the other one till I get up to a fairly fast speed ramp. And you can see that this whole panel up here has re resized itself as I did that. Let me just show you as I drag these around. It will figure it out as you let go. It will resize everything. Now I'm going to drag across those two speed points. Come up to this kind of arch. Click that. That automatically smooths them. That, my friends, is how you speed ramp with a smooth curve in just a few seconds and just a few clicks. Uh, one additional thing, I like to smooth it out even more, particularly as it starts and as it finishes. So here's a little advanced thing. I'm going to just expand that a little bit. I'm going to click on the, uh, the finishing part here, this outside thing, and I'm going to hold down Shift and Control or Command if you're on a Mac. And I'm going to drag that out, and you can see what that does to the curve. Then I'm going to click on the left one, grab the outside, Shift, Control. That's going to smooth it out and make this just butter into it and butter out of it. So I think all the complaints should go away. If you do this, if you want to be fast and efficient, this is the way to do it. It may not be the same as you did it before. I guarantee you this is less clicks and faster than the way you did it before. And it works really well. So there you go. Leave some comments. Maybe I can follow up on this. But um, I'm just trying to help. I know some of you are complaining about the new versions. This is beta. It's not finished yet. It's going to get better. But I'm telling you, this is much faster than it used to be. It's much easier than it used to be. You just have to kind of adopt it and do it the way they want you to do it. And this is very efficient. If you think there's a faster, better way, please let me know.